guys, I'm going to make stuffed aubergine today. That is a comfort food packed with amazing flavors and it makes a perfect meal. So let's start off with it. This is a very simple recipe. So before I could slice the aubergine, I'm going to make the oil mix. I've taken one and a half spoons of vegetable oil. You, you could either take vegetable oil or olive oil according to your preference. Add in some salt. Add in a quarter spoon of paprika to give that color. A quarter spoon of garlic powder. A quarter spoon of oregano. I've taken dried oregano. Oregano gives an amazing flavor. Just give it a mix. Take the head off, slice it to one centimeter thick and this recipe, believe me, would taste amazing. My son loves it. This is such a simple recipe and I'm going to have this for my dinner today. We had a nice and sunny day outside today. Place it on the baking tray and then I'll start applying the oil mix. Just apply it. Look at the color. That looks amazing. And I'm going to bake it for 20 minutes. Apply the oil mix on the other side as well. Now I'm going to bake this at 180 degrees for 20 minutes. And then in the meantime, we'll make the gravy for it. I'm sliding the tray into the oven. Bake it at 180 degrees for 20 minutes. Now the aubergine is baked. So let's pop it out. I've taken a big bell pepper. Just take a little over half of bell pepper. To a heated pan, add quiet oil. Add in one finely chopped onion. Two chopped garlic and just an inch of chopped ginger. Gives a very good flavor. Required salt, onion, garlic and ginger amazing flavor and believe me this is fully packed as I told you before this recipe is fully packed with amazing flavors you would love it you need to try it out to taste how it is add in the finely chopped bell pepper add quarter spoon of coriander powder one eighth of a spoon of cumin powder, one eighth of a spoon of pepper powder to give that peppery taste, a little bit of paprika to give the color. Let it cook for three to five minutes. Just after three minutes of it getting cooked, I'm adding tomato puree. Do not add more and it will taste tangy. So far, I've added say about 40 grams of tomato puree. You can give it a taste to see if you want to add more puree or not. Do not add more at the beginning. I'm going to add 300 grams of minced meat and let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. Add in 100 to 150 ml water. After 15 minutes, Look at that, it has come really well. Now you can see if you need to add more salt or pepper or tomato puree, add some oregano leaves to give that flavor a nice aroma. Turn off the flame. And now let's do the final step. It's quite easy. So now laying the base layer as much as you want. Not too much though. Sprinkle in some mozzarella cheese. And here comes the next layer of aubergine. Repeat the step. It looks really yum. Cheese layer. You can even use cheddar cheese. The final layer. Look at the layering. It looks amazing. It's so nice. Especially kids love this. Final layer of cheese. Now sprinkle in a little bit oregano leaves to give that nice flavor. So I've stuffed it all and now I'm going to pop it in the oven again for 20 minutes and bake it and then 
it's ready to have. It's completely baked and ready to go onto the table now. Look at that perfect looking stuffed aubergine. Look at that. The layers are amazing. Slide it onto the plate. Wow, oh, it smells amazing. Guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. You, this is a must try recipe. It's super simple, super yummy, packed with flavors and nutritious as well. So try this out, leave your comments below. You share it with your friends and families and do not forget to hit the subscribe button as well as give a thumbs up if you like it. Thanks much, bye.